Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, while I was looking for something to talk about uh, through the different lists that I sometimes look at online for philosophical topics, I actually found a list of not really topics but quotes um, that claim to be full of wisdom. So, what I decided to do for this video, instead of talking about like a specific to one topic, I wanted to respond to these seven different quotes. Bear in mind, I have not read these yet. At all. So, what I'm about to read, I'm reading completely blind. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. Quote number one. It's no use going back to yesterday, because I was a different person then. Quoted by Lewis Carroll in Alice Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Well, I don't think this is entirely true. Depending on the circumstance. There's no use... Now, I think what's talked about here, if I remember the story and the writings correctly, he's talking. the, the statement is basically referring to the idea that there's no use of mourning on past mistakes or past events that you can't control and focus more on the now. However, the statement in on its own, if you don't know the reference, isn't particularly true, in my personal opinion. Um, it's no use going back to yesterday. There are always, There's always a use to go, not mourn or anything, but at least think about the past to help prepare for the future. You can't really go like, look at the past and go, eh, it's nothing to my future now. Because you never know when that could be no the, when it could be the opposite case. When it actually could impact your future. You really never know. So, with that said, let's move on to quote number two. Number two. Quote, man is the only creature who refuses to be what he is. End quote. Now that one's kind of a difficult one to think about. I, re I after oh by the way, quoted by Albert. Per, for, forgive me if I say this wrong. Albert Camus. C A M U S. Apologies if I say that wrong. <sighs> this is inter an interesting statement. Hmm. With this particular quote, I guess. Man, in other words, like a human is, I wouldn't say it refuses to be what, we don't refuse to be what we are. We are unaccepting creatures at times though, but it really also depends on the person. We can also be accepting. It's kind of a mix of one and the other. So yes, this quote technically is true. But at the same time, it's not. Man is not the only creature who refuses to be what the, it, he is. There, when you think about it, there are probably others in the world, uh, other creatures on this planet, too, that struggle to, in their own minds, to like, probably be what they're supposed to be. It really kind of depends on the genetics, really. That's kind of straying off to a different type of topic, but think about it. Yes, man's not always accepting what they are, but that's just because we don't like change. As humanity, we don't like change. Some are accepting of it, some are not. But it goes the same towards any animal. Man is not the only because any animal, you try to change something on them and they don't, they're not happy about it. It's not a human specific thing. I would say it's more any type of animal can be this way. I don't know. These are kind of my personal thoughts on that one. Moving on to number three, quote, without deviation from the norm, progress is not possible. End quote. Frank Zappa. Actually, 
This is probably the first of the seven that I can probably agree on. If you weren't to deviate, in the words of this quote, from, you know, what you usually do, what the, the things that are just a constant in daily life for you, how would you ever progress in life? This is actually, that that's actually, when you look at it in a working kind of way, how are you going to progress career or job-wise if you're always doing the same thing back to back every day? Basically living Groundhog Day. You're not gonna go anywhere. I actually do agree with this quote. It does and it doesn't surprise me that I do. Huh, I don't know. There's not much for me to say because of the fact that I legitimately, yeah, I agree with that. That being said, quote number four. Quote, when what you hear and what you see don't match, trust your eyes. End quote. Dale Renton. Mm, no. This one I actually 100% disagree with. You know, not everything has to be relied on senses. To me, for me specifically, for example. Now for some people, maybe what this has said is the case. But for me specifically, for example, you don't have proof, I ain't gonna believe it. You do have proof, and yeah, you're basically going, you don't believe me, now you're just, you're not reasonable. So, in this particular quote's sake, I don't agree. Not entirely. Maybe a little bit, but not, for the most part, I don't agree. <sighs> anyway, quote number five. Quote, there is nothing either good or bad, but thinking makes it so. End quote. William Shakespeare in Hamlet. Yeah, I can see the logic behind that. Um, the more you can see, it's kind of a placebo thing. What this is referring to is something called placebo. Or it's an impact of something called placebo, should I say. Placebo, for those who don't know, when I refer to that, I'm talking about the impact that when you convince yourself of something over and over and over and over again, your brain will start to convince you it's true. In a way, the placebo effect is what comes out of people like pathological liars. They convince themselves of this lie until they believe it's true. Same concept. Um, except, you know, placebo usually asks... It, 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 it relies on, it, it, it's, it's, it can be the case towards anything. In this case, I think, as I, I mean, as I said, either good or bad. Um, your mind is the one that tells you that. Your morals are the ones that tell you that. If you have specific morals and the things that are said go against those morals, it's going to be considered bad to you. But to another person, it could be considered good if it matches their morals. So yes, I actually do agree with what William Shakespeare said in that play. Actually, quite frankly, Hamlet is one of my favorite plays he's ever done. Right next to Romeo and Juliet. That being said, let's go on to quote number six, stated by Pluto. Quote, Wise men speak because they have something to say. Fools because they have to say something. Oh boy, end quote. I've experienced this in my life multiple times. Several different individuals. All who are kind of part of my past at this point, like distant past. In a sense, yeah, I can definitely confirm this. Um, a wise person will speak from logical reason, is kind of what that first half is saying. A fool speaks just because, you know, they want to get the last word out or they have to say something. If they don't throw their input in there, they will be upset kind of thing. I've experienced people doing this way too many times to not be. If I didn't confirm this, I'd be lying to myself. It's not entirely true for everyone. Some people, it's just a response. In which case, you're not a fool. You're just responding to something that goes on. That's actually logical. That's reasonable. 
But if you're just talking, just to talk for no reason, I've, I'll admit at a point in my past, I have done this multiple, at points in my past, I've done this multiple times. So in a sense back then, yes, I would be considered this said fool. But the wise man goes off the idea of speak only when spoken to and, well, speak when you have something to say that's logical. I'm going to add that little detail to the quote. Plato did not add the word that's logical, the term that's logical into it, but it does make, I think that's what he's trying to get in his statement. I don't know. To me, it makes like a lot of sense when, a, that particular quote makes a lot of sense when you add the idea of logic and reason. And I think that's where Plato was coming from in that quote. Finally, quote number seven from somebody I've actually talked about on this channel, Confucius. Quote, life is really simple, but we insist on making it complicated. End quote. Um, if you're taking this literally, it's not true. We don't, no, no, no hum, hum, human being would intent, uh, not no human being, but most human beings wouldn't intentionally go, I want to make my life complicated, here's how. However, the actions that we make can result in that. It doesn't mean we're intentionally doing it. And a lot of people misinterpret this, which is fine. We're all human. What are you going to do? But without complications in life, without trials in life, it would just be a blank slate. It would be flat. There'd be nothing going on. And everything would be a bore in a sense. You can't have, for example, a book. You can't have a good book or a good book series without good conflict. Whether psychological or an antagonist getting in the way of what the necessary thing to get to the end result needs to be. This quote, in a sense, is very similar. We insist, he, so the claim is we insist on making it life complicated. But the reality is we don't. The idea that ins we insist on it consciously, not so much the case, but our subconsciouses, for some stupid reason, don't really think about that. I don't know why. And this is based off of personal experience. Bear in mind, this last quote, what I'm talking about, it does not apply to everyone. In fact, most of these quotes, what I'm saying, do not apply to everyone. So if it does not apply to you, please don't hate. I'm just going off of my own personal experience. In any case, life can be really simple, but sometimes life can throw things at you that life makes complicated. And yes, sometimes we inflict those complications on ourselves. I'm not going to talk much about it just because I think it's a bit personal and too early to talk about it, maybe in the distant future, but I have done this to myself multiple times. That's why I'm saying distant future, because it's just a lot of different topics. Compiled into the same idea. I have made these complications toward myself. Do I insist on it? That's the part where I disagree. No. I don't, I don't go up to... It, 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 I don't go up to my subconscious. Like, my conscious doesn't walk upstairs to where my subconscious sleeps, wake him up and say, Hey, could you make my life complicated for me? Bear in mind, this is very metaphorical, obviously. My brain's not actually doing that. That would be strange, actually. But regardless, I do honestly feel like... I, I feel like, yes, sometimes we can't... We don't insist on making life complicated... But we trip over our own mistakes, making our own lives complicated. So Confucius, I actually do disagree with, just because of the way he worded the statement. If it was worded slightly differently, then yes, I would 100% agree with it. But the way he has worded the quote, again, just to reiterate, life, quote, life is really simple, but we insist on making it complicated, end quote. I do not agree with that direct statement. 
I don't know. These have been seven philosophical quotes claimed to be full of wisdom, but in my opinion, not really. Maybe for their times, yeah. But to me, they present ideas. They present philosophies, hence the term philosophical quotes. They present hypotheses of life. Some of them I agree with, some of them I think it just don't make sense. What about you guys though? What do you guys think about these quotes? If there's one specific one that you agree with, let me know in the comments below and let me know why. Um, Want to check out any other discussion rant videos that I have done prior to this video? Click, one, click the link on this side of my head. Want to check out anything that might float your boat a little bit more? Click the other side where it'll get, where YouTube will provide you with whatever video it thinks you like, you might like most. While I started here over words. If you think neither really f uh, matched the fancy of what you're looking for, why not check out the channel itself if you have not yet? In the meantime, I'm gonna head off. Thank you guys so much once again for watching this video, and I hope to see all of you in another. Bye for now. That did not work. Dang it.